Today I will show you how to install a new copy of VirtualBox in my Mac computer. I have a Pixel version, so let's begin. First of all, I need to uninstall the existed one. So I should go to the application. So we can go to storage manage. And here's the application. So as you can see, I have the VirtualBox yeah, so this is the one. Delete. So let me just delete it. Okay. So it's been deleted. So now I want to remove the folder of the virtual box. So it's right here. As you can see, this is the old files of the uninstalled uh, virtual box which I have a Windows Server 2012 R2 so let me just delete this folder okay. so now I have I cleaned everything so I need to go to download the new virtual box let me just google it so I will try download a virtual box or Mac so this is the one as you can see we have different versions of uh, the virtual box so, so I click on OS X host you notice that it's virtual box 6.3.30 this is the latest uh, virtual box so the download complete so the DMG file and it will show you the screen so if I double click on virtualbox.pkj it will say allow continue install that can So it's, it's installing a new copy of the virtual box. You need to reboot required for Mac Big Sur more, so okay. So after you finish, you move it to trash. Let's try to open the virtual box. So I have the virtual box installed. Let's add a new virtual machine. So let's call it Windows Server 2012 R2. Now, you don't need to change anything, so like here we have machine folder, where is it defined the machine folder, uh, the type it's Microsoft Windows, you can change it if you have uh, Solaris or you have uh, other, other operating systems, here you de define which Windows you are installing, I'm installing Windows uh, uh, 2012, 64-bit, here you define the memory size, the RAM, you can actually increase it or decrease it so I keep it by as default uh, create new virtual hard disk for now so you can uh, uh, if you have if you have the operating system the ISO you have it physically in your computer you can keep it this way so create so VDI virtual image this is I have I have an image with uh, you have here it tells you how many hard disk you want to add usually I make it 100 for me because I have 500 gig in my Mac so simply I I just want to make it 100 so you dynamically allocate it 
you can make it fixed size but just keep it as default create now you have uh, uh, the Windows Server 2012 R2 is being uh, uh, mounted but you cannot if you try to run it you can't run it because it's not being physically defined so it's empty you need to define where it's being located so you need to find the like here I have it in my uh, Mac so this is the Windows so open so now it's been installed let's start running the Windows now we need to do the settings and configuration for the Windows it's standard way of uh, installing Windows click on next install now let me enter the product key so after uh, entering the uh, product key click on next and you will see uh, the next screen it will you uh, click on the new installation so Windows Server 2012 standard uh, installation next now you need to accept the license terms now install uh, windows only advanced so now we need to install the windows so everything is now running let's start the virtual machine Okay, now we have a username called administrator. Just need to define the password. Finish. Okay, so now it's running. Let's try to open the virtual machine. Click input keyboard, control alt del and let's log in all right so now we have the windows let's click, 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 click yes and, uh, and they have the server manager is running now we just close it for the time being and let me go to screen resolution we need to make it a bigger size screen advance all modes I need to have make it 1152 by 864 it will give you a better view keep change okay okay so now as you can see we have the Windows server now let's go back to the virtual box now we can do a sort of settings need to make some changes in the settings but most of the default settings are okay like here if we go to the general everything seems fine if you want to share the clipboard you can enable it or drag and drop description you can add uh, encryption actually if you would like to encrypt I never tried that for systems you can't change anything since this is a virtual machine display you can make some changes in the display remote display also you can change it recording I haven't tried that to be honest with you uh, storage so this is the Windows server and this is where the virtual machine has been running audio never tried that network so the network mainly we have you have the NAT and 
uh, I don't think you need more but if you can if you want you can change it actually you can do it from here I'll show you how to do it ports same thing a shared folder you need you can share folder by click on here and then you select others I have a shared folder in my desktop so this is a desktop I have a shared folder so you can share between your computer and the virtual machine auto mount you need to click on auto mount you can make it permanent if you want okay so as you can see that this is a shared folder user interface I don't think you need anything about it okay so as for network let me just see so now it's okay let's click on tools and click on uh, preferences I guess so you can go to the network I guess no I haven't tried that actually okay let me just get back to settings network Uh, didn't work it used to work like I used to click here me just probably I need to close the the window server save the state although I'm using a virtual machine in my Mac I won't recommend uh, anyone to use it if you have a, a Windows PC or laptop it's better to to use it because uh, the virtual machine consumes a lot of power and this might affect might affect the the the, the battery and as you know the the mac batteries are very expensive so let me try settings try settings uh, network now it didn't work it used to work anyway uh, you probably you will notice that later on maybe you need to restart your laptop so you click on network and you can have this is a default adapter which has the NAT and NAT is enough for for me to to as an adapter for the network you can have different type of uh, adapters like if you look at here you can have bridge adapter internal network adapter where you can connect it to different uh, uh, your local network you can have a uh, host only adapters and these these are all adapters you can attach but for the time being the default adapter is the NAT uh, I form in my more my work is I think this is enough for me to to do my work anyway uh, so this is for it let me just try to open the virtual machine again to see if the shared folder has been activated Sorry. all right okay and let's open the windows the shared folder has not been is not been uh, activated let me just start the windows So probably you need to restart your uh, virtual machine in order for the shared folder to take effect. Okay. Click on the show and shared folder. It's not been activated. Let me just try this PC. Refresh. Shared folder need to be activated. Let me just go back to settings. Shared folder and here. Make permanent. Let's make it permanent. Okay apply probably you can see it from here 
Refresh. Anyway, it seems there's an issue regarding the shared folder, but anyway, as you can see that the shared folder is being defined. One of the, uh, just want to mention one, th one of the, the things need to be done is something called installing the uh, uh, guest, uh, guest editions. It's called guest editions file, which allows you as a developer to, to, to add more features to the virtual box. So it's called a PB a guest additions. Yeah, here. So this is the guest edition. 6.3.30 6.1.30 and you can install it i have it here in my in my uh, i have downloaded and installed but the problem it's it won't installed in the mac big Sur version the 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 main advantage of the virtual uh, see this is the one the main advantage of the uh, of the guest edition it allows you to to share folder it allows you to do other to provide other features regarding the network and how you handle the mouse and this stuff. Until now, the Big Sur version of Mac doesn't work. I thought like probably just adding the shared folder here would be enough. Maybe I need to add the guest uh, edition file, but it didn't actually install. I have it here. I can show you how to do it, but if you have any clue, how to fix that you can write in the comments let's click on this edition you see that we have a uh, mounted the virtual box this edition if you click on it you will see that you need to download to install the virtual box darwin editions but it will fail as i told you as i mentioned before because uh, i have a mac with the big server version continue install Failed. This is uh, one of the issues regarding the uh, installing uh, guest edition in in uh, Big Sur version. But for the time being, I have uh, a virtual machine that is running. Uh, maybe there is uh, um, some missing features, but it's fine right now till the the Mac or the Oracle fix the this error caused by the big server. This is for today. Thank you very much.